up? What are you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is for Magi Labyrinth of Magic chapter 321. And um, one of my nerdigans I was talking to in the comments section, I realized something, was there's a couple of things that might be the case of what's happening. And um, Sinbad is either really obsessed with this god complex, which I'm going to do a Manga Nerdigan um, theory video on, because in Sinbad no Boken, a lot, a little bit of what, um, how his god, uh, Sinbad's god complex was somewhat explained, and I think it's going to be continuously explained throughout Sinbad no Boken, so yeah. We're gonna find out a little bit more later on in the mon in the manga for Simbad no uh, Magi Simbad no Boken. But there's something else that I realized is that Simbad is a fucking troll. He could pull the ultimate troll move. He could pull the ultimate troll move on us and um, Arba. He could. That's a po it is a possibility, but because him like I really hope it's it kind of is a troll move because I, I really don't want him to fucking backstab Jafar, but if he does, Jafar's gonna kill him. Jafar if if anyone's gonna kill Sinbad, it'll be Jafar. It will have to be Jafar. It's either that or the other thing that I think might happen are all the Magi, all. Um, all four of them are going to purify him or kill him. My thinking is purify him because remember he and David, he is part of David or he is David basically. But um, I think they're either going to purify him of the darkness or they're going to kill him. So yeah, I think it's going to be the, mo all four, uh, that would be cool if all four Magi killed him. That would be fucking sweet. I would love that shit. But it would be really sad if uh, Sinbad killed Jafar. That would be, oh man, I will be fucking pissed if that happens. But anyway, Sinbad is, uh, I, I got mad at Sinbad last week. So let's see what happens this chapter. So International Alliance Headquarters, Metal, uh, metal Vessel Vault. You know what this means, don't you? And this is Arba. From here on out, we'll be trying to break into the Sacred Palace. We have a 1% chance of success, and if we fail, we die. Yeah. Sinbad, you are a fucking idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Hold on to the metal ves uh, vessels. The sacred palace is where the Rukin um, is where the Rukin reside. So you can't go there um, while retaining your uh, corporeal form. Okay. How can he be so calm? Uh, the motives of the hi um, high king and the witch mixed together um, overlap, and then. Um, Sinbad has decided to go to the Sacred Palace. What's going through his mind? The curtain rises on um, a surging development that will um, unravel a great mystery. Hmm. This is strange. I could die at any moment, and yet my mind is clear. I wonder why. So Sinbad's smile is what this chapter is called. No. Everything I've done has been in preparation for this moment. Althaman, um, Althaman, um, give um, fuck, I can't, for, can't talk today. Althaman, uh, give me your pa magic power. Why am I going to the sacred palace? I lost track of everything around me because I was so focused on thinking that I could save uh, the world if I if um I went there. It's laughable to think that someone like me could ever be a god vessel. That's right. I really thought that I was a savior sent by God. Why do people continue to fight even though they hate fighting? There must be something capable of solving this hopeless problem. There must be a special um, vessel capable of breaking the chains of war. And I was convinced that I was such a vessel. So, but such a vessel probably doesn't even exist. The people I look down on for being unable to see destiny as clearly as I do easily exceeded my expectations. Aladdin, Alibaba, Prince um, Hakuryu, and even Princess uh, Kogyoko. Kogyoku, excuse me, Prince Ko Princess Kogyoku. I don't want to acknowledge it. I don't want to acknowledge it, but there's no difference between me and them. 
No fucking shit, Sinbad. And here's the thing with Sinbad. And is Sinbad can't accept that there are people on the same level as him. Because with Sinbad is that Sinbad is used to being better than everybody else that he can't accept it. And if you read Sinbad no Boken, you, um, you'll you see it. You'll understand why. Because he's, he's, he's been always stronger than everybody else. Even if war and irrationality do not disappear, life will go on. Oh, God! Oh, man. I'm so sad that Rumuru is dead. And Sarah Jean is dead. It's not fair. And the world will continue to turn. So then why am I going to the Sacred Palace? Why are you going to the Sacred Palace, Sinbad? I swear, Sinbad's fucking bipolar. Um, even risking my life, even throwing away everything I've built with my comrades, why am I struggling to obtain something that no one wants? Good question! It's getting desperate. Will we die if I uh, if we fail? W what the hell are you talking about? But is a 1% chance of victory victory really that bad? I'm about to open the door. Take care that you aren't um that you aren't swallowed while you're still in your corporeal form. When I entered the dungeon of Baal out of 10,000 uh, people out of 10,000 people I uh, alone survived. I don't feel like dying today. That's right. All I can say is I never felt that today would be the day I die. Uh, not even once. L Lord Sinbad. That fucking smile. What is he smiling about? That's a, that's the smile of a fucking troll. That's the same kind of smile that Aizen has. That is the smile of a fucking troll. Uh, that's right. It's the, the same as, as uh, back then when I tackled the dungeons. I didn't have a drop of royal blood, but that um, was the reason I managed to obtain them all. No fucking shit, Sinbad. The things uh, my comrades said to me then um, were only natural. Um, I should be satisfied with the with the peace I established during my own lifetime. That's what Jafar was trying to tell you, you dumbass. You're now realizing this? I want to smack, I want to punch him in the face. Like, Sinbad makes me want to punch him in the face right now. Jafar told you this shit last chapter! But, uh, I want to push my, um, even further. I want to change, uh, the world with these handsome minds, but for whose sake? For the, the people? For the world? No, that's not it. For my own desires. There's David! There's the David! To make it destiny itself, surrender to grasp everything, everything for a greedy, ordinary human being. Ah, there's, there's my, uh, there's Aizen. I'm telling you, if Bleach was still able to go on, if Bleach didn't get fucked over by Shonen Jump, this is what Aizen would be doing. This is exactly what Aizen would be doing. He would uh, do, be doing this exact thing, but with the Soul King. And he would probably uh, be absorbing the Soul, become the new Soul King. Lord Sinbad, was he swallowed up by the path to the sacred palace? Sinbad, you are not a god vessel. I know. Um, Dijon equip uh, Crossell. Even so, I'll still do it. I don't need God's approval to des uh, realize my desires. I will reach the sacred palace no matter what. You can't do that. I can. Never ever say you can't to, uh, can't do shit to Sinbad. I feel like I can really do it. He brims with confidence. Even more Dijin equip, uh, equips in the next issue. <gasps> Don't miss a single panel of Sinbad's true power. Oh my fucking god. We're going to see a new Dijin equipped. Look at that design! Oh my god! Look at that design! 
I forgot about Grossel. We haven't seen Grossel in a while. He looks fucking awesome. Damn, Grossel looks good. Sorry, it's been a while. But here's the thing, and I gotta say this right now. Sinbad, thank you for acknowledging your true intentions. I knew he was full of shit. You were full of shit, Sinbad. We knew it. We knew you were doing it for your own greedy ass purposes. And we knew and this is what David and you know, if you remember the story of Amatoran, remember David's story too? History is fucking repeating itself. History's repeating itself. That's all I can fucking say. History is fucking repeating itself. And I'm curious now. Because Simbad, Arba said, Simbad, you are not a fucking god vessel. What do you think is going to happen now? And what do you think Simbad's true power is going to be? And what do you think about the new, um, there's going to be more Dijin equips. So I'm curious what's going to happen. The other thing I'm curious about is if, um, do you think Aladdin is going to, Aladdin's going to sense something. I think Aladdin will sense something. Either that or Jafar is probably, pro, Jafar is fucking smart. I think what's going to happen is Jafar is going to call, uh, go call Aladdin and Alibaba and tell and say, look, something is wrong here. A Sinbad is fucking something's wrong with Sinbad. You need to get over here. And um, Aladdin's probably gonna sense something's wrong with, with the Sacred Palace, and he's gonna head over there and, um, and with Alibaba. And Alibaba's gonna take his sacred his, 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 take his uh, Dijin weapon. And the one other thing I'm curious about. Because so remember, Arba has the vision, has all the um, the metal metal vessels. Excuse me, I'm Met, Alibaba's gonna take his metal vessel. What do you think would happen? I want to know what you nerdigans think. What do you think would happen if they if Alibaba took his metal vessel? What do you think would happen? Do you think that Sinbad would die in his corporeal form if? If uh, any of the metal vessels were moved or were removed from uh, the circle, I'm curious what you nerdigans think about that because usually because it, it's just a typical thing in magic. If you move some, take something out of the circle, a magical circle, then the spell is all fucked up. And what do you think? And another thing I'm curious about is, do you think with uh, with how um, this particular spell works with the corporeal form. Do you think with each uh, metal vessel, it increases Sinbad's power when he goes into dish and equip, when he um, goes into his different equips? I'm curious about that too. But anyway, let me know what you think about his God complex. I'm curious. I I'm glad that Sinbad finally admitted that he's not doing it for the world. We know you're not doing it for the world. You you finally came to terms what it is. You're fucking greedy as shit. You're doing it for yourself. Just like motherfucking David. We know. We know you're motherfucking David. And if you haven't read today's Sinbad No Boken chapter, you need to. There's a reason why it came out today. I'm telling you, there's a reason. And I'm going to do a Magi a, a Magi Maga Nerdigan theory about this, or a more in-depth discussion about this. Um, I just can't do it today because I got a lot of shit to do. But anyway, um, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, live stream on my Bond Live channel, and guest chat will be enabled. And um, I'm going to be doing... a um, a live stream during the debate and doing commentary during the debate and, uh, fuck, what was it? And, um, uh, during the football game. So, uh, if you want to come in and chat about this, please feel free to do so. Cause I have guest chat enabled. Um, it's going to start at 7 30 PM Eastern standard time, 4 30 PM Pacific standard time. And a link to the, my Vaughn live channels in the description box below.
Um, also, if you love what I'm doing and want to um, help expand the Nerdigan Zinc, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can donate to the Nerdigan Zinc Patreon or purchase something off the Nerdigan Zinc Amazon wish list. Uh, both links are in the description box below. And also make sure you follow me on Twits, aka Twitter. Um, that's what. <laughs> Twitch and friend me on PlayStation Network. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.